you are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Lord, you are the pillar. You are the pillar that holds my life. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, you are. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Father, we just come to you this morning. And we surrender the service into your hands. We pray for everyone who is online, for everyone who will still join the service. We pray that you will speak to us like never before. We declare that you are the pillar that holds our lives. It's because of you we are standing here alive this morning. So we pray, Lord God, that you take charge over the atmosphere. We pray, Heavenly Father God, that you will move like never before. Where there is sickness, we pray that you will heal. Where there is depression, we pray that you will heal. Where there is confusion, we pray that you will bring clarity. We pray, Lord God, where there is a need for a word that you will speak to your people. Father, let the service be unto you. Let it be a service of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let this service bring clarity in the life of someone. Move, Heavenly Father God, in our lives like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare, Lord God, this morning, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And especially on this day, Lord God, let your kingdom come. And let your will be done in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you glory. We give you honor and all the adoration. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad in this day. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you are online, can you just type out a loud hallelujah? Because hallelujah means praise the Lord. Can you praise him this morning? And just shout hallelujah where you are. If you can type it out, say hallelujah. God is awesome. Hallelujah. On that note, can I just invite Princess Poe? Can you just come online and welcome us all? Hallelujah. God bless you, sweetheart. Okay, looks like she's got technical challenges. We will just move on. I want to welcome everyone online. This is Abundant Life Ministries, hallelujah, Royal Assembly. And I want to welcome all of you to the house of the Lord. Our vision is taken from the book of John chapter 10, verse 10. The Bible says the thief came to steal, kill, and destroy, hallelujah. But Jesus said, I have come so that you will have life and have it in abundance. That is where our vision is coming from. That is simply to declare the order of of God in the lives of God's people. The vision of Abundant Life Ministries is to declare the order of God in the lives of his people. Hallelujah. So as you are online and whenever you join one of our services, whatever the enemy came to steal, kill, and destroy, order will be declared by the word of the Lord and there will be order in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we've got our mission. How do we achieve declaring the order of God in the lives of God's people? Hallelujah. Mission number one is to preach and teach the unadulterated word of God. That means we don't sugarcoat, we don't take away, we don't add. We preach the word as it is. Hallelujah. And we also make disciples and plant churches. Hallelujah. This is the first branch and our vision is to have more of the branches of Abundant Life Ministries. Our mission is also to be a haven for family. Some churches are interested in the youth. Some churches are interested in the adults. Some churches are interested in those 
who are who are in the leadership only. But when it comes to abundant life ministries, we are interested in the entire family: the mother, the father, the grandmother, the auntie, the uncle. Hallelujah! And it is our mission to be a haven of families. We've got values on which we are standing on. Hallelujah! Number one, our value is prayer. We believe in prayer. We believe in praying to one and only God. And then our value is worship. We love worship. And that is why it is a value for us. Another value of us is integrity. What we are in the morning is what we are at night. We don't change like chameleons. Uh -uh. When it is a yes, it is a yes. When it is a no, it is a no. Another value on which we are standing on is teamwork. We believe that one finger cannot wash the face. So we believe in the royal house that everyone has got a gift. And that is why we believe in teamwork to achieve the purpose of the Lord. Our another value is service. We believe in saving God and saving humanity. Hallelujah. And another value on which we stand is excellence. Whatever we do for God, we do it in excellence. Everywhere we are, we do everything in excellence. And another value on which we stand is family. We believe in family. Hallelujah. And we appreciate family. That is why it is part of our mission to be a haven of family. Having said that, I want to welcome all of you. Apostle, you are welcome as well. And I want to welcome everyone who is online this morning. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for making this the platform that you are joining your Sunday service to. And I want to ask you kindly, if you don't mind, can you share the, the, the link and invite someone? Can you tag someone and let somebody come online? Hallelujah. So that we can have a family service this morning. Are we ready to praise the Lord this morning? Let's praise the Lord and declare hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah to the glorious King. I give you all the glory, Lord. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Oh, yes. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah to the glorious King. I give you all the glory, Lord. La, 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 la. La 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 I give you all, I give you all the glory, Lord. La 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 la. This is the moment when you don't even know what to say to the Lord. So all you can say is just la 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 la. And he perfectly understands. Hallelujah. Oh, I give you all the glory, Lord. La 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 I give you all the glory, Lord. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Can you just declare it this morning? Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah to the glorious King. Ah, you can type it out or you can shout it in your house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah to the glorious King. I give you all the glory, Lord. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah to the glorious King. I give you all the glory, Lord. I am on the Lord's side. And I am an overcomer. I will never give up. For the Lord God is on my side. Oh, yes. Oh, I am on the Lord's side. I am a no I will never give up. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to declare it loud and clear. Whatever is a challenge this
this morning. You declare it over your life this morning. I am on the Lord's side. I am an overcomer. I will never give up. For the Lord God is on my side. I am on the Lord's side. I will never give up because I am an overcomer. You need to speak it out in the face of that challenge. You need to speak it out in the face of that sickness that I will never give up. For the Lord is on my side. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. For the Lord God is on my side. I'm on the Lord's side. I am on the Lord's side. I am an overcomer. Yes, Lord, I will never give up. For the Lord God is on my side. Yes, I am on the Lord's side. I am an overcomer. And I will never give up. I, I, I hope I've got someone who is getting angry in his spirit and declaring enough is enough. I am on the Lord's side. Enough is enough. I am an overcomer. Enough is enough. I will never give up. Enough is enough. I am an overcomer. You need to declare it because the Lord is by your side. I'm on the Lord's side. I am on the Lord's side. I am an overcomer. Oh, yes. I will never give up. For the Lord God is on my side. I am on the Lord's side. I am an overcomer. Oh, yes, I will never give up. For the Lord God is on my side. Hallelujah. Don't give up, my sister. Don't give up, my brother. You can rise up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. For the Lord God is on your side. The Lord God is on your side. The Lord God is on your side. I speak to you this morning and I declare the Lord God is on your side. Don't give up this morning. Let's lift up our hands wherever we are and just declare this morning. There's no name like your name, Jesus. There's no name like your name, Jesus. There is no name like your name, Jesus. Ramasuka namahaya, rekaya basotori ande bokorobo, ina makusa nda bakari ande rebosha, ande bosi kana ma ande bosa. We are declaring this morning that there is no other name like the name of Jesus. Rosoto bokori ande bese, ina makorobo si ande bokorobo si ande. Jesus, we declare that you are Lord. Jesus, we declare that you are king. Jesus, we declare that you are the great and mighty God. Hallelujah. There's no name like your name, Jesus. Jesus. There's no Somebody just declare it this morning. There's no name. There's no name like your name, like your name, Jesus. Jesus, there is no name. There's no By your stripes, we are here. We lift our hands to give you glory. Yes, Lord. By your blood, we are saved. We lift our hands. 
by your stripes, oh Lord, by your stripes, we are here. Lord, we lift our hands to give you glory by your blood, by your blood, we are saved. We lift our hands to give you glory. There's no name, oh Lord, there's no name like your name, Jesus, Jesus. There is no name, there's no We are here, yes we are, and we lift our hands to give you glory by your blood. We are saying, Hallelujah. We lift our hands. Glory by your stripes, O oh Lord. We are here. Yes, we lift our hands, we lift our hands to give you glory by your blood. We are saved, we are saved. And we lift our hands to give you glory. There is no name, there's no name like your name, Jesus. Jesus, there is no Thank you, Jesus. There is no name. Jesus. 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 There is no name. There is no name. Like your name. Only you 
Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Let all the other names fade away. Hallelujah. Let all the other names fade away. Till there's only you, let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Lord Jesus, take your place. 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 Let all the other names fade away. Let them fade away. Let them fade away. Mandebosa yabakori and debosata. Lord, till there's only you, let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. 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 Just tell him this morning to take his place in your life, to take his place in your home, to take his place in your finances, to take his place in your emotions. Lord, we need you. Jesus, take your place. 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 Lord Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Lord Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Let all the other names, let them fade away. Let them fade away, oh Lord. Let all the other names fade away. Till there's only you, let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Let all the other names fade away. Let the name of every sickness fade away. Let fear fade away. Take your place in our lives. Take your place in our homes. Take your place in our country. Take your place in the life of our children. Take your place in our affairs. Let all the other names fade away. Hallelujah. That is our declaration this morning. As we worship you, King of glory, let the other name fade away. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Make that declaration this morning. 
Jesus, take your place. Take your place in my life. Take your place in my home. Take your place in my affairs. Take your place in everything that concerns me. Take your place as the healer. Take your place as the restorer. Take your place as the king of kings. Take your place as the prince of peace. Take your place, Lord, and let every other name fade away. COVID-19, fade away. HIV AIDS, fade away. Hypertension, fade away. Unemployment, fade away. Yes, Lord. Take your place. Drug addiction, fade away. Gender-based violence, fade away. Corruption in our nation, fade away. Let every other name fade away. Let them fade away. Let all the others fade away. Yes, Lord. Till there's only Let them fade away. Fade away. In the name of Jesus. Jesus take your Hallelujah. Place. Thank you, Father. We Jesus, bless you. Take your, take place. your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Take your place. Jesus, take your place. Hallelujah. Father, we worship you in the beauty of your holiness. We have no other God. You are the only God that we have. You are the pillar that holds our life. You are the breath that we breathe. You are the song that we sing. And this morning, we join our faith and our voices and our heart intertwined, connected across the nation of the earth just to lift up your name. And together in one accord, we are declaring, let all other names fade away. And we'll say, Jesus, have your place. Have your place. Have your place in our home, in our lives, in our ministry, in our nation. Take your place. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory be to God in the highest. We, we bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. What an awesome presence of the Lord here. And I believe distance is not a barrier. The presence of God is manifesting right there where you are. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. We welcome you, King of Glory, and as we commit the service into your hand, we are saying not only should you have your place, but have your way. As I'm about to go into this ministration, 
have your way. Do what only you can do. Take away every limitation, every barrier, and everything that will resist the move of God will rebuke it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the word go out and take up effect in the life of everyone that is listening in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to welcome each and every one of you, friends and family, royal sons and daughters. I welcome you all online, and I welcome especially my precious family, the Guyo family. You are welcome to our service. God bless you. And I want to also appreciate the woman of God, prophetess, for leading us in that powerful worship, and the children for taking care of the technical aspect and the worship. May the Lord bless you. And as you join, I believe the Lord has, who orders the step of the righteous has ordered your step this morning. And the Lord who gathered his people do not gather them to waste their time. He has something in store for you. And this morning, that which the Lord has prepared for you shall be delivered and you shall enjoy it to the glory of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before I go on, today is a very special day. And I just want the Royal Assembly, Abandoned Life Ministries, friends and family, just to join me to celebrate the life of somebody special to me this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody who is so special. She is a mother above every mother. She is a counselor. She is a friend. She is a God-fearing daughter of God, full of wisdom, full of energy. We are celebrating our life today, and that is my mother, the mother of my wife, Mama Sophia. She turned 70 today, 25th of July, 2021. Please, can you help me just to celebrate this woman, phenomenal woman, a blessed woman. There is no way you come across her and you will not be blessed. Hallelujah. We thank God for our life. And we thank God that today we are not talking of memorial service in the midst of what is happening. God has kept her alive for us, and today we just celebrate her life. It's so unfortunate that uh, there is lockdown, because if not, right now, we should be with her physically. But we thank God we know this soon shall pass away. Every other name shall fade away. Jesus will have his way. And as though we will celebrate online, but we shall still meet physically. And we are going to storm the, 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 the town of Chumeb to celebrate this great woman. We will paint the town red, blue, and yellow to the glory of God. Hallelujah. If you are on Facebook, please press that share just to acknowledge and to celebrate this woman. God bless you as you do that. And if you are on Zoom, please drop a comment just to celebrate this woman, great woman of God. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I'm so excited today. So Papa, please forgive me if I'm overexcited because we are still celebrating life. Hallelujah. And as you know, in Royal Assembly, we celebrate. Uh, if you, there is a degree given to those who celebrate, by now we should have double doctorate degree, PhD in celebration, because we believe that life is a gift from God, and we have to celebrate it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This is a very special day, and this service is very special. It's very special. 
this is a prophetic service where the Lord has instructed me to go and declare his mind over his people. Hallelujah. So this morning I'm on an assignment and that assignment is to release unto you, your life, your family, that which the Lord intends to do today. And I want you to be very expectant because expectation is the breeding ground of miracle and the manifestation of the power of God. And on that note, I want you, wherever you are, take a moment and I want you to place a demand because supply is a response to demand. Where there is no supply, there cannot be a demand. I want you to take a moment and tell God, Lord, I heard that you have prepared something great for me. I want to be a partaker of what you are going to do in these few minutes. I want you to locate me, locate my family, locate everything that concerns me. Just take a moment and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Bro, say Kayaba. Let all the other names fade away. Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Have your way. Bakosi Kayaba. Let's go to the Brusali Kaliman Daka de Bosho Teria Desa. Thank you, Father. We bless you. In the name of Jesus, I declare that your expectation shall not be cut off this morning. In the name of Jesus, that which you have been waiting for shall be released to you in the name of Jesus. I don't know what you've been trusting God for. I don't know what you have been waiting for. I don't know what is the content of your prayer. I don't know what you have been waiting fasting for. But today, 25th of July, God is going to attend to your case. There will be a turnaround and there will be a shift in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. This one thing I know, no one put his or her trust in God and end up being put to shame. Anyone who put his or her trust in God will be elevated and glorified and celebrated. Shame will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. And I decree over your life, every element of shame surrounding your life surrounding your marriage surrounding the life of your children from this moment as i speak in the name of jesus those elements of shame are fleeing away they are going away in the mighty name of jesus every shame is fading away every disappointment is fading away only the name of jesus shall remain in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to read two scripture. Two scripture and we're going to share the word and uh, we will be declaring the mind of God. Hallelujah. Two scriptures. The first scripture is the book of Psalm 98, verse 1 to 4. And the second scripture is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1 to 3. Now let's start with Psalm 98, verse 1 to 4. Psalm 98, verse 1 to 4. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy hand. I've gained him victory. Verse 2. The Lord has made known his salvation. His righteousness he has revealed in the sight of all nations. He has remembered his mercy and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the end of the earth shall have seen the salvation of our God. Shout joyfully to the Lord all earth. Break forth in song. Rejoice and sing praises. Hallelujah. The second scripture, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1 to 3. I waited patiently and expectantly for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. The Lord is hearing the cry of somebody today in the name of Jesus. 
He brought me out of a horrible pit and out of a muddy clay. He set my feet upon a rock, steadying my full step and establishing my path. Verse 3. If you are taking note, I want you to underline verse 3. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear with great reverence and will trust confidently in the Lord. Father, bless the reading of your word. Do what only you can do. I take authority over the atmosphere and I command everything that is not of God to be subject to the name of Jesus. And I declare that this word we found and find an expression in the life of the people of God. That which we have intended to do, even from the foundation of the earth, shall be established this morning. And at the end of the day, we shall have a great testimony in the name of Jesus, we pray. Somebody shout a loud amen. If you are online, type your amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This morning, I am on an assignment and I'm here to deliver the word of God to you. And that word, that message to you this morning is the Lord will give you a new song. The Lord will give you a new song. Somebody type it out. The Lord is giving me a new song. Prophesy over yourself. The Lord is giving me a new song. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving you a new song. Psalm 98 gave an instruction. It's that instruction says, sing a new song. For the Lord has done marvelous things. His right hand has gained victory. He went on to say, the Lord has made known his salvation. His righteous hand has revealed, has been revealed to the nations. He says, shout joyfully all the earth. Break forth into song. Rejoice and sing songs of praise. Why? Because the Lord has done a great thing. Mm. But this morning, as I come to deliver the word of God to you, I believe there are many who will say, I don't have a song to sing. Not to talk of a new song. Some might be asking, what is this new song anyway? Some might say, all I've been doing is to sing songs that are old. I just sing the old song. Some might be saying in this condition, in these circumstances, in this situation we find ourselves, in through what I am going through personally, through all the challenges, is it even possible for me to sing? Is it possible for me to obey that scripture in Psalm 98, to sing a new song, to jump up and to, 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 to shout. And the reason why many are saying this is because circumstances has made them to stop singing. Situation has muted the voice of some people that they are able to open their mouth. There are few people I want to minister to this morning. There is the first group of people. They are going through circumstances. They know they are supposed to sing song of praise. They know they are supposed to rejoice. They know what it is to sing. But because of what they are going through, they are unable to sing the song. Why? Because the enemy has used the situation to mute their voice. Today, that voice shall be unmuted in the name of Jesus. There are a second group of people. 
the situation they are going through has sponsored shame into their life. That they think if I open my mouth to sing any song, what will people think about me? These are people who felt I have made different mistakes in life. So there is no reason for me to sing. Because if I sing, people will judge me based on the error I have made. So these people are living their life based on what people will say. But today you shall be the, the, the delivered in the name of Jesus. There are those people, the third group of people, they don't even know there is a song to sing. They don't know what it is to sing a song. No, no talk of a new song. So they are just living life the way it is. And there are the fourth group of people. They, they have a song. They know they can sing the song. But because of what is happening to their neighbor, they refuse to sing the song. But today, the Lord has sent me to you. And the Lord said, I should declare to you that I am giving you a new song. I am giving you a new song. And you shall sing a new song. At the end of this service, the Lord is going to provoke something in your life. He's going to provoke something in the atmosphere. He's going to provoke something in the, in the spiritual realm. And you are going to sing a new song. Because the Lord is giving you a new song. Hallelujah. And I speak over your life this morning. In the name of Jesus, Yeshua Amashia, everything that has stopped you from singing will shall fade away in the name of Jesus. Everything and anything that has stopped you from singing, it shall be dealt with in the name of Jesus. Life is a journey. Life is full of different experiences. We have experiences in our relationship, experiences in business, experiences in our work with the Lord, experiences, experiences in the universe at large. Life is full of experiences. And we are supposed to experience life. Sometimes these experiences are so good. They are wonderful. Sometimes the experiences are not so good. But I want you to know that our experiences provoke emotions and feelings. That's how God created us. We have different forms of emotions, different feelings. Our experiences and our feelings that are provoked through our experiences become a reality of our life. You can't run away from it. What you go through, what you experience, provoke feelings and it becomes a reality of your life. Some are good, some are not so good. This reality becomes the phrase of our everyday language. Through this language, we describe ourselves. Through this language, we view ourselves. Through this language, people relate to us. Through this language, people sum up our life and they give us a label. People around us describe us. Even sometimes you don't know what people are talking about you. When people describe you, they describe you based on the reality of your life, which they see. On the experiences and the emotions and the feeling which you have been saying from time to time. This language, we say everything that is provoked by our emotions that become our reality is now the song we are talking about. 
Simply put, a song is a collection of what you experience and the emotions that are provoked. And these are expressed in a reading form. That is the song we are talking about. Collection of your experiences, collection of your emotions, feelings, which you express from time to time, and you are saying it over and over in a reading form. These are the song we are talking about. And song is a natural language of feelings. What am I saying this morning? A song is the happening or the story of your life that you confess over and over again. If things are going well with you, you are enjoying your marriage, and when you see your friends, they ask you, how are you doing? You begin to tell them, oh, I'm enjoying heaven on earth. You tell them how your husband is spoiling you. You tell them how your wife is supporting your vision. And every time they meet you, this is the same thing you are saying. Then that is your song concerning your marriage. If your business is not going well and people meet you on Monday and they ask you, how are you doing? You will tell them things are tough. We are going about to go bankrupt. And on Tuesday, this is the same story you will tell them. On Wednesday, it's the same story you will tell them. That becomes your song because that is what you say over and over again. A song is the summary of the happening in your life. A song is simply the story of your experiences in life. There was a woman, a blind woman, Fanny Crosby. Crosby, sorry. She was blind from childhood due to surgical failure which they conducted on her. But this woman rose above all circumstances and she rose to become a, 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 a victor over the circumstances she failed. One day, a composer met her while they were talking. This composer called Palmanat. Many years ago, around the early 1900s, he was playing a melody. Remember, this woman cannot see, but through her life, she has been able to experience the goodness of God. So as this Palmanap was playing this tune, he was just playing this tune. The tune has no, 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 no words. And he asked, he no lyrics, and he asked this blind woman, what do you think this tune is saying? The woman opened her mouth. And this is what she said. She gave a lyrics to that tune. And she said, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Hair of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, wash in his blood. Say. Jesus is mine. Oh, thank you, prophetess. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Of salvation. One of his spirit. Wash in his blood. Wash in his blood. Then she said, this is my story. This is my story. This is my song. This is my soul. Praising my Savior all day long. Praising my Savior ah. all the day long. This is my story. This is my soul. Praising my Savior all the day long. 
This was a blind woman. From the early age of her life, she could not see. But she became a great musician. She fought battles through the help of God. She became a conqueror. And she wrote this song. And she sang that song. That song has become a, a, a song that is appreciated worldwide. This song spoke about our experiences. This song reveals our feelings. This song talks about our relationship with God. Child of God this morning, every one of us on the faith, face of earth has a song. Everybody has a song. Everybody sings from one form of song to the other every now and then. There are songs that speak of the challenges of life. There are songs that talk about the goodness of God. I don't know the song that you have been singing. I don't know the song you have been, be, 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 been giving lyrics to that you have embraced so much. Maybe it's a song about delay, delay in marriage, delay in graduation, delay in, in, in God answering your prayers. Maybe your song is about your waiting on the Lord. Maybe your song is about the sickness that is around. Maybe your song is about the challenges you are facing in raising your children. Maybe your song is about frustration you have experienced and you are still experiencing. Maybe your song is about conflict stand battle that refuse to go away. Maybe your song is about struggle. Struggle over addiction. Struggle over sin. Maybe your song is about disappointment that men have inflicted over your life. But today I have come as a servant of God. I have come to deliver the word of God to you. Today God is giving you a new song. God is giving you a new song and you will sing a new song. Everything around you is going to change in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to sing a new song. I want you to type, I'm going to sing a new song. I'm going to sing a new song. This morning, I want to share with you different type of song that God is going to give you to sing. Different types of song that God will give you to sing. And I have no doubt in my mind, somebody will leave this service singing a new song. Our nation will sing a new song. The hospital will sing a new song. The ministry of earth will sing a new song. The judiciary will sing a new song. The presidency will sing a new song. Hallelujah. When God gives you a song, it is a gift from him. It does not have any sorrows. Hallelujah. The first song the Lord is going to give you is the song of praise. Song of praise. David said in Psalm 40, he said, I waited patiently and expectantly for the Lord. And he heard my cry. Maybe you have been waiting on the Lord patiently. You have been waiting on him expectantly. Today, just as the Lord heard the cry of David, the Lord will hear your cry in the name of Jesus. In verse 2, he said, the Lord brought me out of a horrible pit. He brought me out of discretion. He brought me out of a muddy clay. He set my feet upon a rock, steadying my feet and establishing my path. God is bringing somebody out, out of trouble, out of muddy clay in the name of Jesus. For some, horrible pit can be dead. You are owing so much from mountain to mountain. 
It's revolving credits. It's cash loan. You don't know how you will come out. And all the song you sing is about the debt and those who are owing. The Lord said, I am going to bring you out so that you can sing a new song. For some, Mary Clay and this bit can be bad relationship. You are in this relationship. You are hoping to get married, but it is abuse all over. But you think it is not. There is no way out. I am telling you today, the Lord is bringing you out. The Lord is bringing you out in the name of Jesus. For some, this speech can be unemployment. You are being deep in this employment. Ah, I don't know. You have read so many applications. And every application, some, they don't even respond to it. Some, they are telling you, no, you are receiving negative answer. The Lord is bringing you out. The Lord is bringing you out. For some, that horrible pit might be sickness. You have been so sick, you don't even know how to come out of it. For you to sleep, you have to depend on medication. For you to think, say, you have to depend on medication. It's medication over and over. There are sicknesses all over the land. The day the Lord said, I am bringing you out. And why is the Lord bringing you out? It's for one purpose, so that you can sing a song. Hallelujah. In verse 3, he said, he puts after he heard me, after he delivered me, after he brought me out, he put a new song in my mouth, which means David has been singing an old song. He has been singing, and those songs have become so old. <laughs> Everywhere he goes, he has been singing that song. And people will say, we have heard that story. Ha, Likayabande. Ah, when you get there, and when you are in the pit, when you are in trouble, you want somebody to listen to you. And when you begin to tell the story, it's the same story you spoke. You, you told them when you met them last year, when you begin, they will just switch off their mind. And all they will say, story for the gods. Ah, they are not interested. And you will say, I am talking, but they are not listening. Ah, the devil is a liar. The word of God said, he put a new song in my mouth and what is this song he said it's a song of praise <laughs> hallelujah and he said many we see and fear and we trust confidently in god this confirms that god is the one who gives a new song <laughs> you have been singing an old song but god is giving you a new song this song is a song that glorify god Songs of praise is a song that produces glorify God. You have been singing songs that talk about what the enemy has been doing and his agent has been doing. But today, your song is changing. Receive a new song. Receive a new song. A song that we praise God. A poor song that we point people to God. A song that we point people to the greatness of God. That shall be your song. In the name of Jesus. I want you to look at that scripture. And take a note. Of that verse 3. He said. He put a new song. In my mouth. A song of praise. And the next phrase. Baffled me. He said many we see. And fear. And we trust. How can you sing. And people see. I think when you sing, people are supposed to hear. Please help me. Student of English, help me here. It seems something is not correlating here. It seems equation is not. How can you sing and people will see? But the living translation put it this way. He said he has given me a new song to sing. Song of praises. Now many will hear of the glorious things he did and stand in awe. What this is saying is that when the Lord gives you a new song, it means he's going to turn things around. When he turns things around, people must see. There will be a great testimony. 
there will be a great manifestation of the goodness of God. There will be a great display of the power of God in your life. There will be a great undeniable miracle in your life. That means your life will be a billboard that God will advertise his glory. And I pray for somebody. That shall be your testimony. You shall sing and people will see in the name of Jesus. God is giving you a new song. And that is a song of praise. Hallelujah. The second song the Lord is going to give you is the song of joy. Is the song of joy. A feeling of great pleasure and happiness. A feeling that will wipe away shame and sorrow. A feeling that overwhelms you when you experience restoration. That is joy. And God is giving somebody a new song. And that is a song of joy. Psalm 126. From verse 1 to 3. It says, When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter. And our tongues with songs of joy. Then it shall be said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. And we are filled with joy. I declare over your life, from today, you shall begin to sing a new song. Songs of joy. Because restoration is taking place. Everything the enemy has stolen from your life is hereby being restored. In the name of Jesus, that tide is coming back to his senses. I pick up somebody online and I speak over your child. You have been praying. When will this child come to his senses? When did this child behave like a normal child? Today, in the name of Jesus, that child is coming back to his senses. You did not give a child. You did not give back to a child to end up in drugs. You did not give back to a child to become a drug addict. You did not give back to a child to become an alcoholic. God is bringing that child back home. God is restoring the life of that child in the name of Jesus. Restoration. When it takes place, joy will flow. And you will sing songs of joy. Just like Anna. She was provoked by Perlina. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1. But at the end of the day. When the Lord answered her prayer. She sang a new song. <laughs> Maybe people have been asking you, where is your God? They have been asking you, when is this story going to change? Are you the only one in this family? Are you the only one in this location that is going through these challenges? Today, they have mocked you. But God is turning your story around. You are going to sing a new song. And that song is a song of joy in the name of Jesus. I want to prophesy over yourself. I shall sing a song of joy. A new song. Song of joy in the name Jesus. The next song the Lord wants to give to you is the song of deliverance. Song of deliverance. Hallelujah. This song of deliverance talks about deliverance from sin, redemption from eternal death, recovery of physical health, release from spiritual bondage, and rescue from difficult situation. When Saul was oppressed, David sang the song of deliverance and evil spirits left him. <laughs> The enemy faced Jehoshaphat. He went with his team. They sang, they sang a song of deliverance. And their enemy were conquered. Paul and Silas were in the prison. The Bible said they sang. There was earthquake. They were free. They sang a song of deliverance. God is giving you a song of deliverance. 
A song that will make the enemy to flee away from you. Hallelujah. In 2 Samuel chapter 22 in verse 1 to 4, the Bible reads, David sang to the Lord the word of this song. When the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemy and from the hand of Saul. This is what he said. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. My shield, my honor, my salvation. He is my stronghold, my refuge, and my savior. From violent people, you save me. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise. And he has saved me from my enemy. Song of deliverance. David was able to sing this when the Lord delivered him. Hallelujah. In Exodus chapter 15, also from verse 1 to 4, the Bible said Moses and Miriam sang the song of deliverance. They say, I will sing to the Lord for he is highly exalted. Both horse and dive driver, he has buried into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He is my God and I will praise him. My father's God and I will exalt him. Today, the Lord is delivering you from those who are stronger than you. The Lord is delivering you from sin. He's delivering you from the power of sickness. He's delivering you from bondage, from difficult situation, which you think there is no way out. And as you get delivered, he will put a new song in your mouth. Just like David, just like Miriam, just like Moses, you shall sing. The song of deliverance in the name of Jesus. Another song the Lord is going to give you to sing is the song of victory. Song of victory. When you are in battle facing the enemy, God will step in and give you victory. And this will prompt you to sing a new song. In Judges chapter 5, we saw prophetess Deborah sang after victory, a song of victory to God. Today, I speak over your life according to the order of God. God is giving you victory over all your enemy. Today, I declare victory is yours. Victory is yours. Victory is yours in the name of Jesus Exodus 14, 14. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Be still and know that I am God. The Lord is going to fight a battle for you. And you will sing a song of victory. This is the promise of God for you this morning. He is giving you a new song. Song of praise. A new song of victory. A new song of deliverance. A new song of joy. The Lord is giving you this song. Receive those songs. Uh, in faith, rise up on your feet and begin to proclaim the goodness of God. As this month, July is coming to an end, I'm telling you, <laughs> it will not end without you singing a new song. You will see the Lord coming through for you. You will see the Lord delivering you. You will see the Lord pulling you out. You will see the Lord doing what men said it is impossible. And as a nation, we shall sing a new song in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I'm already excited. I'm ready to, to, to put lyrics uh, to my feelings. Uh, I'm ready to put lyrics to my emotions. Uh, I'm ready to put lyrics uh, to what the Lord is manifesting in my life. I am going to sing a new song. And I want to declare over your life, I am singing a new song in the name of Jesus. Because the Lord is the one giving you 
that song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands together wherever you are. Shout a big hallelujah. God has given me a new song. I receive it. I am singing a new song. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now I'm going to lead us in some prayer. I just want to pray with you. Before we end the service, I want to pray with you. But before I pray, if you are online and you don't know the Lord Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, you have not invited him into your heart. You have been singing the whole song. But God wants to give you a new song. A song of praise. A song of joy. He wants to bring you out of that sin. He wants to bring you out of that addiction. He wants to bring you out of that frustration. That old song is outdated. It's no longer selling in the markets. Nobody wants to listen to it anymore. But there is a new song that will call people's attention. The Bible says you will sing and they will see. You will sing and they will see. And that will happen if you accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. I'm not talking about going to church here. I'm not talking about being baptized here. I'm talking about having a relationship with the altar and the finisher of your faith. Hallelujah. If you are that person, you say, I want to sing a new song. I'm tired of the old song. I'm tired of living in the flesh. I'm tired of living in sin. It's an old song. I want to sing a new song. I want to pray with you. Or perhaps you used to sing the song of joy, but you are backsliding. You have missed your way. You say, I want to sing a new song. I'm tired of rising today and falling tomorrow. That is a old song. I want to sing a new song where I can stand tall and sing and people will see. If you are that person, I just want you wherever you are. You bow your head in faith and say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I invite you into my heart. I believe that you died for me. And you rose from death. After cleansing me with your blood. Today, I receive you into my heart. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And I confess that I will serve you all the days of my life. Satan, I renounce you. Oh, song. I renounce you. From today, I am singing a new song because I'm now a child of God. I've been washed clean by his blood. Glory unto your name. Amen. Amen and amen. If you are afraid of prayer, I want to say congratulations. Congratulations for praying that prayer. You are welcome into the family of the Lord. Now you can sing a new song. Hallelujah. And if you have prayed that prayer, I, I just want you to send us an inbox. We want to chat with you. We want to guide you in the way that you should go so that you can continually sing that new song so that the enemy will not be able to steal that song away from you. In the name of Jesus. Let me just pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for as many that have prayed this prayer. You've invited them and you've given them the power to become the sons of the Lord. Therefore, I pray you will seal them with the Holy Spirit. I pray that you will protect them. I rebuild the enemy. You will no longer have access into their life. Today, from this day, they will continue to serve you until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And they will continue to sing that song. In the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray for all of us. Hallelujah. 
I want to quickly read something. I'm going to pray. I'm just going to declare some things over your life. Zechariah chapter 1 from verse 18 to 21. He said, then I looked up. And there before me were four horns. I asked the angel who was speaking to me, what are these? He answered, these are the horns that scatter Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. The man of God was shown a vision. And he saw four horns exalting himself or themselves. Say, who are these? He said, this one have scattered the people of God. In verse 20, he said, then the Lord showed me four craftsmen. Other versions say carpenters. I asked, what are these coming to do? He answered, these are the horns that scatter Judah. People of praise. Judah means praise. These are people who should sing the song of praise. He scattered Judah so that no one could raise their head. But the craftsmen have come to terrify them and throw them down. To throw down these horns of nations who have lifted up their horns against the land of Judah to scatter his people. Hallelujah. What is the scripture saying? There are people who should praise God. There are nations who should meet and fellowship together. But there are horns that have raised themselves and they have scattered them. And today we cannot meet in the church. Today you cannot visit friends and family. It has scattered people. We can't sing song of praise to the Lord. But the Lord said, I have sent four divine carpenters. I have sent four divine craftsmen. They are coming to terrify those things, those power that have exalted themselves. And today I want to stand on this scripture to pray for you, to pray for our nation that these four divine carpenters, these four divine craftsmen, they are coming to terrify every force, every one that has scattered Judah in the name of Jesus. Father, you have given us a new song. We stand on this promise and we declare, let those carpenters manifest themselves. Let these divine craftsmen go into the four corners of this nation. Go to the four corners of our life and begin to terrify everything that have exalted itself. Every evil horns, these four horns that have exalted itself, terrify them and take them away. Terrify them. Destroy their works. In the name of Jesus. We have been singing this song about these four horns that have exalted themselves. But from today, we receive a new song. We are singing about the deliverance. About what these craftsmen you are sent to us are doing. And they have achieved in the name of Jesus. I speak into the life of each and everyone. I speak victory. In the name of Jesus, I speak divine settlement in the name of Jesus. For everyone that came to this service, crying, shedding tears of pain, they are going home with tears of joy. Their story is changing in the name of Jesus. For as many that have declared, Lord, I receive a new song from this moment. They begin to sing that song. They begin to sing that song. In the name of Jesus. Your word said in your time. You make everything beautiful. From this moment. I speak over your life. God is making everything beautiful. God is making your life beautiful. God is making your career beautiful. God is making your marriage beautiful. God is making your finances beautiful. He's making your relationship with the Lord, with your family, with your children beautiful. Everything around you is here by made beautiful. And as we are ending the month of July, the hand of the Lord is over your life. The hand of the Lord is giving you victory. The hand of the Lord is settling everything that concerns you. Crooked ways here by my straight. And today, I declare, as you start to sing a new song, 
you will forever sing a new song. A song that will glorify God. A song that will exalt the name of the Lord. A song that will draw people to the goodness of God. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we pray for our nation. Let this for divine craftsmen chase away sickness from this land. Let this divine craftsman chase away affliction. Let it chase away any sickness in this nation. And we decree as a nation, we are singing a new song. We are singing a new song. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. And amen. God bless you. God bless you. Keep on singing a new song. We are singing a new song as a family. We are singing a new song as a nation. We are singing a new song. We are singing a new song. Hallelujah. Declare it over your life and start to sing the new song in your life. For what the Lord has done. We will sing hallelujah. And for what the Lord is doing, we will sing hallelujah. And for what the Lord will do, we will sing hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Unto the Lord. For what the Lord has done, we will sing hallelujah. And for what the Lord is doing, we will sing hallelujah. For what the Lord will do, we will sing hallelujah, hey, hallelujah, unto the Lord. Yes, for what the Lord has done, we will sing hallelujah. For what the Lord is doing, we will sing hallelujah. And for what the Lord will do, we will sing hallelujah, hey, hallelujah. Unto the Lord. I'm singing a new song. I'm singing a new song in my life. I'm singing a new song in my finances. I'm singing a new song. I'm singing a new song in my health. I'm singing a new song in my marriage. I'm singing a new song in my ministry. You need to declare it this morning. I'm singing a new song. The old song has passed. The old song has passed. No longer the song of delay. No longer the song of depression. No longer the song of sickness. I declare I'm singing a new song. For what the Lord has done, I will sing hallelujah. And for what the Lord is doing, I will sing hallelujah. For what the Lord will do, I will sing hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah unto the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the Sunday of the new song. And that shall be your portion. A new song shall be your portion. In your life, you will sing a new song. Your language will change. Hallelujah. Your tune will change. Oh, what a day. This is a prophetic service. So you need to take it by faith and declare it over your life. Walk around in your house and say, the song of this family is changing. The song of this family is changing. The song of this family is changing. No longer shall we sing a new, an old song as per this family. The song has changed. For what the Lord has done, we will sing hallelujah. And for what the Lord is doing, we will sing hallelujah. What the Lord will do, we will sing hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Unto the Lord. I don't know about your family, but as for this family, we are singing a song of praise. We are singing a song of joy. We are singing a song of deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. We are singing a song of victory in this family. Declare it for your family. Declare it for your family. As for the Patmos family, we are singing a song of joy. We are singing a song of praise. We are singing a song of victory. 
and a song of deliverance. What a word to us this morning. The Lord has spoken and he says, I'm putting a new song in your mouth. It now depends on you, child of God, whether you want to sing this new song or you want to go back to your old song. After this service, it now depends on you whether you want to sing the old song or you want to sing a new song. Hallelujah. May the Lord fine tune your tongue. May the Lord fine tune your tongue. May the Lord fine tune your tongue so that you know what to sing and sing the new song. May you sing the song of praise. May you sing the song of joy. May you sing the song of deliverance. And may you sing a song of victory. Apostle, God bless you. What a powerful word that came out this morning. We will sing a new song. Hallelujah. May that be your portion this morning. May that be your portion. A new song. May that be your portion. A new song in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to give God all the glory for what he has done in our lives. Hallelujah. We want to give him all the glory for this service. We want to give him all the glory for the servant, his vessel that he has used for us to come and change. Hallelujah. You see, when the children of God cry out to the Lord, the Lord sends a man. The Lord sends a man for him to declare the word of the Lord. Today, the Lord sent Apostle Solomon Badmos to declare over our lives enough of the old song. It's time to sing a new song in this nation, in this family, in your house. Hallelujah. The word came out. It is for us to adjust. The word came out. It is for us to adjust and to use our mouths wise. God bless you, men of God. I am excited. I am excited. And I will sing a new song. Thank you so much, everyone. Before I call Apostle Beg again, thank you so much for joining us for this service. May the Lord bless you and may you sing a new song in your life. Hallelujah. Join us again next week's service. We are still 100% online. Join us again next week online for the Sunday service. Hallelujah. And then uh, on Wednesday, on, on Thursday, we want to invite you for Abundant Living Session. It's 7 o'clock online as well. Please invite someone. It's always powerful, always powerful. So I invite you for Thursday, come online for Abundant Living Session. And for Friday, I'm inviting all the women on the threshing floor for the uh, final, final Friday of my gift for his glory. You don't want to miss the last one. The Bible says the last thing is always better than the beginning. So I invite you all. And then I also want to inform all the women on the threshing floor. The virtual camp is coming back again this time around on a Friday and a Saturday on the 20th and the 21st of August. Please do register. It's just $100 per person. Hallelujah. So I invite you all to the camp meeting for all all the women on the threshing floor. May the Lord bless you as you register and you plan to attend the abundant living session, the women on the threshing floor on Friday, as well as the camp meeting that is coming up. God bless you. I want to call Apostle Beck once again, just to come and close off the service for us. Amen. Apostle, you are welcome. God bless you as you come say. For what the Lord has done, we will sing hallelujah. For what the Lord is doing, we will sing hallelujah. And for what the Lord will do, we will sing hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Unto the Lord. Yes, for what the Lord is Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for this wonderful day. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for meeting us at the point of our need. Thank you for your grace that we dispense over our life. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for victory. And thank you for those new songs you put in our heart. We shall continue to sing. And the enemy will not mute our voice in the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you 
and grant you peace that surpasses all understanding. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. And we'll see you on Thursday. Amen. Shalom.